Okay, so I have a couple of possible solutions for you. This, this error often happens when, for example, you initialize your variable here without writing an array here, right? So if you want items to be an array, make sure you initialize it with an empty array. Because often what happens is, for example, when you fetch some data and then you want to set the items to some array, um, and that's going to take some time, right? So then when you try to render this component, it's already trying to map over that. But the, but the items here, right, you didn't initialize it properly. It's going to take some time before the, the, the data has been fetched. So meanwhile, you're trying to render this with map. Um, and so you're going to get that error, right? Because items, it's not an array, it's not an array right? So it, sh it should be an array, even an empty array should get rid of that error, right? Another way of getting rid of that error is to use the quotation mark here. This is actually sort of a new feature, although, you know, we have, we've had it some, for some time now, but this will uh, check whether it exists or at least whether um, it's not undefined. And um, that should prevent that undefined error as well. This is actually a new variant of what people did before, which is something like uh, items and then ampersand ampersand, right? So this is sort of short circuiting because if this is undefined, it will stop here. The evaluation will stop here. If it is actually defined, it will run whatever comes after it, right? So you can do any of those two, that one or this one. This, this should also solve it, right? So this error often happens when fetching data. This can take some time, right? So what, what could also happen is uh, now you get rid of the error but now nothing shows up. So you need to you need to maybe uh, console log the items here to see if you're actually getting um, the data properly, right? So make sure, for example, if you're fetching data, they, maybe you should just log the data, make sure that you actually get the data properly, make sure that there, actually, there are actually items in that array eventually, right? Because otherwise you're just gonna have an empty array ever forever. So another reason that this error exists sometimes is for example, if you're getting some kind of props Right, so maybe you've actually have, have some kind of naming conflict. So you've actually named the prop items as well. And or maybe you have um, some other, uh, you know, variable with with the name of items as well. Right, so when you have all of these uh, issues with name, names here, you're going to, you know, odds are one of them is going to be empty, right? When you have so many items, probably one of them is empty. Um, so that could be one of the source of your problems as well. Um, but any any of those solutions, at least one of them should work and solve your error. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.